This has been an unusual situation for all of us. While providing the best care possible during the coronavirus outbreak, the Palm Valley Animal Society's primary focus has been to keep both their employees and the community safe. We've uh, stepped up all of our sanitation policies and procedures and, and have limited the number of people in our facilities. But the biggest way to help them stay safe during the pandemic is by lowering the number of pets in the shelter through fostering and adoptions. We're operating on, you know, social distancing here in the shelters. And when we have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of animals in the shelter to care for on a daily basis, that makes it really difficult. While the animal shelter is practicing social distancing, they are providing alternative ways to allow people to foster and adopt without having to step foot inside. You can just choose an animal online, consult with an employee over the phone and pick up your pet through curbside. Even with this pandemic happening, we we're still trying to save lives. With 250 animals currently in the shelter, manager Melissa Saldana says they have reached this new low with the help of the community. We've had so many people want to help during this time. We've put in over 200 animals into foster care since the pandemic has started. And with the low animal population, it has also allowed them to save their medical resources. In veterinary medicine, we use the same medical supplies as we do in human health care. Uh, and, and so we have this ethical obligation to preserve those supplies for, for human medicine. Even though Palm Valley's intake has gone down, there is anticipation it will go back up as Texas reopens. They hope the public could still help. The more we can work together to uh, help animals like Bubbles here and all of the other animals that come through our facility, the better off we'll be as a community. Marco Ramirez reporting Texas TV.